Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome to the second video of Disney December 2021. This is the time when usually I'd be uploading the fourth and final video, but like I mentioned in the previous video, which will be linked in the playlist in the description if you did not see it, but I pushed back the, the Disney December timeline about two weeks back, so instead of it being the entire month of December, it'll be the last two weeks and then the first two weeks of January. But that's just a little bit of a clerical thing. Anyway, it's the second video here, and today I'm here to talk about something very topical. If you celebrate Christmas, then yesterday was Christmas Day. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, well, yesterday was December 25th. And today is Boxing Day, which is a thing for some people. I don't really know much about it, but it's the 26th of December. Anyway, I figured I would take today to reflect on why I enjoy Disneyland at Christmas time so much. Those of you who do not know, I generally go to Disneyland twice a year, once in April and once in December. That allows me to see a very different side of Disneyland at the two times that I go. In April, there is nothing special going on. There's no holiday. There is no special rush of any kind. It is just a pretty normal time to go to Disneyland. So I see the park in its normal, in, in quotes, atmosphere. And then in December, I get to see it all dolled up for the holiday season. Now that's exactly what we're going to get into here, a little bit of the differences, some of the things you can expect going in during the holiday season, and just why I enjoy it so much. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Entering Main Street from the main gates will have you see the amazing decorations already beginning to emerge, even just on the train station and the opening gates, before you even get to go into the main area where the large Christmas tree is located, you'll see decorations. They look great during the day, but I think the whole park really shines at nighttime. I'm a huge fan of lights. I I like the multicolored lights and just the thousands and thousands of bulbs, especially on places like It's a Small World, but we'll get there in a minute. And Main Street just happens to have a whole ton of those lights. They're really quite breathtaking, and something I continuously said while I was taking video of my trip was, gosh, I really wish cameras were able to capture the majesty of all these lights. Cameras don't do the lights justice, at least not the camera I had on my cell phone. So take whatever you're seeing with a grain of salt and amp the pretty factor up like tenfold. It's a really breathtaking scene, especially if you haven't seen it in a while like I had. It had been about a year and a half, maybe two years since I was last in Disneyland. There's a little bit of a side tangent. I was in Disneyland on March 16th, I believe, of 2020 uh, for my birthday, and then everything kind of stopped. So yeah, getting to see all that stuff again all lit up was absolutely amazing, as well as having the light Christmas music in the background. Normally on Main Street they play a full variety of music, but in the holiday season it is specifically holiday music, which is what I actually used in the background of my previous video, but it's just a very nice way to set the mood for what's going on. Of course, as you continue down Main Street with the large Christmas tree behind you, which for some reason is just like the bottom layer of it is off, like every other day. I assume the tree is assembled like a stack of tires where you have a big tire and then a smaller tire and then a smaller tire until it gets up to a cone shape. And that bottom tire, quote unquote, is always unlit, like every other day. It's really, really weird. And usually you would never see something like that going on, but that one's usually off. When it's on, it's a very nice scene though. Anyways, you continue down towards the castle, you will see the brilliant lights on that as well. Sleeping Beauty Castle gets a nice little improvement during the holiday season with all the lights and the snow on the facade. It is just one way to sort of combine that whole area together into the mood. Some of the lands all around the hub have their own little spin, a little way to put on the Christmas spirit. Off the top of my head, I don't think Tomorrowland does anything, and Fantasyland is actually rather barren as well when it comes to decorations, unless you look past the main area of Fantasyland towards the It's a Small World attraction, because holy buckets, does that ride get an improvement. There is not a surface on that ride's facade that does not have a bowl. They are absolutely breathtaking, and being able to see them all is stunning. One little game I like to play is I like to see if I can see any bulbs that are broken or burnt out as I'm going into the It's a Small World ride, just because you don't think that would be there. But then again, you'd think the Christmas tree would be fully lit as well. But I digress, this isn't for complaints, this is for admiration. I do really, really enjoy the aesthetic that we get to see on the It's a Small World attraction. 
The attraction itself gets a re-theming. It is the It's a Small World Holiday Special where instead of singing exclusively the It's a Small World song, the Children of the World will also sing some Christmas carols, and it's a way to sort of uh, showcase the different winter holidays that are celebrated. I do believe Santa Claus makes an appearance as a shadow in that ride, he's in, in a window. I think the It's a Small World ride is a little bit refreshing to see in the holiday attire. I don't think that it's necessarily better or worse than the normal It's a Small World ride, just something different, and it can be nice to take a peek at. The other ride that gets a big change during the holiday season is the Haunted Mansion. It goes to the Nightmare Before Christmas theme, which is something I'm actually not the biggest fan of. I believe I mentioned this in the very first Disney December video, maybe it was the second, uh, back in 2019, but I really prefer the normal Haunted Mansion. I feel like the Nightmare Before Christmas overhaul sort of doesn't fit in a lot of places. It makes sense in some spots, but otherwise it's it's very forced in in some areas. Uh, for example, Madame Leota's room is not really relevant to the Nightmare Before Christmas at all. And the point of the movie is that Halloween and Christmas are colliding, and that's what they do. They sort of mix in these random holiday elements with the scary elements. And I, I would much just prefer the normal scary version, or the normal version, it's not necessarily scary. However, I will say it is fun every year to see the gingerbread house they assemble in the dining room because it is different every single year. I didn't take any footage of that, but I'm sure I have footage from 2019 and that's something to look at, right? Ooh, fancy, that one has a 50th anniversary little emblem on it, I believe. Moving on from the Haunted Mansion, however, there are also an exclusive fireworks show and an exclusive parade, as well as a cavalcade, which I believe is something they started doing after the initial shutdown for COVID. It's just sort of like a small little speedrun parade you get to see a couple times a day. We were actually able to catch it uh, on our way into the park one time, and it's very festive. It's got some characters walking around, some characters you wouldn't normally see that are in parades but not normally around to take pictures with, for example. I believe uh, Jafar was there, the genie, Jasmine, those all happen to be from the same movie, but there's, there's a variety of characters there. There's also the Believe in Holiday Magic fireworks special, and the A Christmas Fantasy Parade, both of which are great. I've mentioned before on the channel that the Believe in Holiday Magic fireworks are some of my favorites. I did not actually get to see those while I was in Disneyland this trip, however I did listen to the soundtrack from the hotel and listen to the, the fireworks in the air, which was nice. I'm not really one for crowds, so I didn't stick around to see the fireworks. It was also kind of late. I get tired really early, but that's sort of irrelevant there. And then to quickly hop over and discuss DCA very, very briefly, it's a lot of the same things. A little bit of Christmas spirit has been flown through all the different areas. In Buena Vista Street, you'll see some wreaths and a very small Christmas tree when compared to the large one across the road. You also get some Christmas decorations in Cars Land, which do look very nice, especially with all the lights. There is that scene in the movie Cars where they turn all the lights back on in Radiator Springs for the very first time in a while, and it felt like that walking through there. Another big part of Christmas or the holiday season in DCA is the Festival of Holidays, which boasts unique food and drinks for the area, which was the topic of the last video. I mentioned it three times in this one video. I probably should find a different thing to mention. That park also has a bit of the holiday spirit all throughout it, and it's nice, but I definitely prefer the Disneyland environment a little bit more. It just seems to be more put together and what appears to be more thought out. Disneyland, of course, has been doing this for a multitude of decades at this point, and DCA is still on the newer side. It's not new per se, but it's not as old as Disneyland, and I'd say not as refined. But that about wraps it up for all the things I wanted to talk about today. I really enjoy lots of aspects of Christmas time in Disneyland. The music, the lights, the overhauls for the rides, and everyone just seems to be in a nice, joyous holiday mood, which really makes the experience what it is. That's going to be all for now, though, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you use my videos around. We've reached the halfway point of Disney December 2021, which means there are two videos still coming down the pipeline for you guys. So I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, as always, take care. Thank you.